welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jocelyn and today I'll be making calzone or they call it rolled pizza. And I have my own recipe for my crust and we're going to start now. This is about three and one half cups of all-purpose flour. You can use wheat flour or bread flour, but I prefer all-purpose flour. And we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of instant yeast. When you use instant yeast, we do not need to bloom it or sponging. And for an extra flavor to the crust, I'm adding about one teaspoon of dried rosemary leaves. So I'm going to crush it between my palm to release the flavor and make the leaves a bit smaller. Mix it and we're going to add half a cup of warm milk and about three fourth cup of sour cream. We're going to stir it. This recipe of mine will produce a doughy, bready crust. It's my personal preference because I do not like crispy crust. And if you notice that it's quite a bit dry, we're going to add a little warm milk, a tablespoon at a time, until you see that the dough is coming together. So I added about two tablespoons. And at this point, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. While the, dough, the machine is kneading the dough, I'm going to show you the feeling that we're going to have for the calzone. This is mushrooms, chopped mushrooms, chopped bell peppers, and sweet onions sauteed in olive oil and seasoned with uh, white pepper and salt and dried oregano and also a mixture of chopped bacon and ham cooked in cooked and a little bit browned in olive oil. And of course, our cheeses, the mozzarella cheese and the cheddar cheese. This is going to be a scraggly dough. But it's going to be amazing later. Again, we need it for another five minutes. Okay. 
In the meantime, I have prepared a mixing bowl and I oiled it a bit with olive oil. This is where we're going to, to put the dough and wait for it to double in size about an hour. And for the filling also, I have my homemade pomodoro or tomato sauce. It has herbs in it, basil, and oregano, and salt and pepper. As you can see, the dough is coming together. This is going to produce about three large calzone and or four medium-sized calzone. It's a beautiful dough. And we're going to transfer it to a well-oiled mixing bowl. As you can see, it's quite scrubby. But during the rising time, it's gonna develop. and the gluten will strengthen the dough. In my previous videos, I've been using clean wrap, but I'm trying to lessen the use of single-use plastic. So instead, I'm using a shower cap. Thanks for the tip to my favorite chef, Chef Gemma. And after coming with the clean wrap, we're going to put a tea towel on top of it and place it in a warm place and wait for it to double in size about 50 to 50 minutes to an hour. After an hour, we're back with the dough for the calzone. It doesn't need much of kneading, but we're going to knead it for a little bit, about a minute. So it's quite scraggly and sticky, so we're going to knead it. sticky you can add flour a teaspoon at a time but do not add a lot because you're going to end up with a dry and tough crust Usually, 
I let my dough rise for two hours, it gives chewiness to the dough. today determine how many pieces we can produce. around 10 inch diameter making a pizza crust except afterwards you're going to fold it over the filling tablespoon of pomodoro just a thin layer of sauce we don't want to, to have a saggy dough my red cheese it started to melt already it by hand easier to distribute the meat There's the vegetables the bell peppers the onions and the mushrooms Paper. 
this is a nice trick huh using rolling out the dough on top of a parchment paper for easy transferring of the dough so Just crimp the edges. You can either use your fingers or your or your fork. You can do this also. But I prefer crimping the edges. And make three slits on top. And transfer it. Let it stand for about 10 minutes to let it rest and then we bake it. So cover it with a dish towel. I have preheated my oven to 375 degrees. And now after resting the calzone for 15 minutes, I'm brushing it with beaten egg with, mixed with milk going to give it a golden color and I'm going to bake it for 20 minutes we really don't have to cook the filling because it's already cooked we're just going to make bake the dough until it's golden in color and pizza roller by Echo. You cannot find any of this nowadays. Very hard. I bought it in Landmark in Makati. with this trick of rolling it out on top of on top of a parchment paper because I rolled out the calzone on a surface like this and when I try to transfer it to the baking sheet 
I could not lift it because it's stuck on the surface.